Hi everyone, I recently have a question regarding how to put parameters into the new uh, web request control for Nitex Worms for Office 365. Now this is actually pretty simple. So if you come to the web request control and I've got an API that looks up um, coronavirus data from a public API. And so just looking at this one, it's got um, no parameters in here at the moment and I'm just doing some lookup on some data. So this is the API and I'm looking up, um, looking up just for the countries. So if I come through to here and select preview and you'll see all the countries and I can select uh, Afghanistan for instance. Now the second one I'll come back to. So let's have a look here. So that was simple, no parameters, but the second one, I've hard coded this to Afghanistan. So it's always going to say, um, let's check. It's based on, if we come to here, uh, data latest recovered. So we've come through to here. So this has got the parameter of um, Afghanistan or AF. So and it's looking uh, today, latest data recovered 468. So you come through to here, it's always going to say 468. Now, if I wanted to select um, Aruba, it's always going to be 648. Now what I want to do is pass the data, the, the code behind on this, across to this control here. So what we want to do is, this is always selecting name. So what we need to do is we need to say, well it's not name, it's actually code. So I'm going to grab code and I'll paste this here. Now what I'll also do is I'll show a label just so we can make sure the code we're spitting out is actually correct. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit and we're going to go insert. Uh, let's go create variable and we say that's where I've forgotten which control I named and we want the value not the label which is being shown to the end user we want the value. So I'm going to say um, web rest value. Okay, so we'll go and create and insert that first and test that out. So what we select here, we should see the code change here. Going to preview and Afghanistan, AF and Belize. Okay, so that's now working. So we can see that the code, the shorthand code is actually coming through to here. Next step is to say, I actually want this code or the code from this control put into here. So if we select the second control, uh, rather than saying hard coding it to AF, what I'm gonna do is copy all of this service URL. I'm gonna copy that, select insert, I'm going to make a string. Now the next thing I want to do is go plus and then I go web request or whatever your control is called and then I'm going to say value because I don't want this I don't want the label obviously. So now we go insert and it's going to make uh, a formula for you. Formula? Yeah, formula. And so that's going to concatenate the API with the uh, value here. Now we don't really need that anymore. I'll, take, I'll keep it here for the moment. Coming to preview, so if we go Afghanistan, 648. Now if I can clear that, hopefully, clears it out. Fantastic. Now let's go Costa Rica, 527. And that's, we can see that CR, so I can come across to here and say, well, has this actually worked? This is a good test. Change this to CR, and 527 have recovered. And uh, latest data recovered, 527. So pretty simple. It's, it's, um, you can delete that now, you don't have to have that there, so just to prove a point, um, let's say Australia. Wow, 6,297 uh, 6, have recovered. Um, so, yeah, you don't need that variable to be shown, it's, it's just, um, just showing the example. So, I hope you find that helpful, uh, let me know in the comments. Cheers.